Tall Ships Erie takes over the bayfront in just 15 days, beginning a four-day celebration of Erie's maritime history. And with just over two weeks to go, final preparations are underway as Erie gets ready to put on a show. As crews prepare the Letty G. Howard for Tall Ships Erie, Captain William Sabatini couldn't be happier. We deserve this. You know, we've all been waiting for for something, right? You know, we've been for two years, we haven't been able to do these really big, massive festivals, and now we have the opportunity to, to do the thing that we do best. On August 25th, seven classic tall ships will sail into Erie for the first time since 2019. After three years of illness, political unrest, and economic uncertainty, Sabatini says our community needs an event like this. Let's let Tall Ships Erie be our escape. Let's go do something that is out of the ordinary. Let's go tour a ship from 500 years ago. Despite the struggles of the last three years, it's not all bad news in Erie. Our region has seen a rebirth since it last hosted the festival, something Sabatini can't wait to show off. We want to show off what Erie is and bring as many people into the city as possible because if we can bring them in for Tall Ships Erie, they're going to come back because they see the bay, they see the Presque Isle, they see what downtown is now. When people walk up State Street or walking down Street to come to the festival, they're going to see a lot more. For the captain, planning a party for 100,000 people isn't a chore, it's a privilege, a chance to set sail on a new era in Erie. It's been a long time coming, you know, even though it feels like we just did this because so little has happened since. It also feels like we've never done this before, you know, because it, it's it, it's our chance to to come back. And if you'd like to go to the festival, tickets are now on sale at tallshipserie.org. And Erie News Now is a proud sponsor of the event.